Hello students. So yes, another important update for all as for all gate aspirants. Another Maharatna PSU that is Steel, the Steel Authority of India Limited announces the recruitment of the position of management trainee, a 249 post under the even executive one grade, and there is through the gate 2024 examination. So yes, I told you earlier also. You know, you know, maybe exam got over by February, but it's all June, July, and vacancies are coming up, and you know, a few more will come up in the uh, remaining course of the year. So uh, yes, let's let's know more about this. So as as you go to the Sale Careers website, okay, and uh, just scroll down, and you go to this uh, job section, you will be clearly having this recruitment of MT management trainee using Gate 2024. The detailed advertisement, you click. Okay, and this PDF will be opened up. Let's talk about more about the breakage of the vacancies and all. Yes, so as I told you, still the Maharatna PSUs. Okay, let's take up here. Okay, so now out of the 249 vacancies, how the breakage of vacancy has been there. Okay, so out of this 249, uh, you know, electrical gets a good uh, opportunity. 61 are for electrical. For EC, it is five posts. For I instrumentation, it is 11 post. Okay, again, a very good number of posts for mechanical. That is 69. Metallurgy, 63. Okay, chemical, 10. Civil, 21. And computer science, 9 vacancies are there. Okay, now, okay, as I already mentioned, this recruitment is in the executive one grade. All right. So, let's talk about more important updates here. Uh, so, age limit as expected for most of the PSUs, it is 27, 28. So, for uh, the sale, it is 28 years as on uh, 25th of July because the last date for filling up the application form would be 25th of July. The application process starts just today. That is 25th of July. Okay, that means it should not be born earlier than 2000, 25 July 1996. Okay, there are, of course, relaxation in the age limit as per the category. So, SCST 5 for OBC non year 3 and for PWD 10 years. For general, 15 years for SCOST, 13 for OBC, okay, uh, OBC, NLC. Now, of course, the basic degree in engineering, uh, they, they have specified the branches also, I'll tell you. Okay, but with 65%, uh, okay, the aggregate of foresters is required here, okay, in the respective branches mentioned. So, suppose now you are, you are looking to apply for electrical. Okay, so what, what can be your BTEC background? It can be electrical engineering, double E, or it can be, you know, uh, several other related branches. Okay, like electrical machine, power system, and high voltage. All these are mentioned. Okay, in fact, electrical instrumentation and control engineering, if you are there. Okay, uh, again, triple E, you know, many, many students are triple E, electrical, electronics, engineering. So all this, uh, you know, branches are mentioned. Okay, similarly, if you are applying, if you are an EC candidate and you are applying, your background can be electronics, engineering, electronics, and instrumentation also applicable. Electronics and communication, that is the EC and electronics and telecommunication. And if you want to apply it through IEN, okay, and they are also electronics engineers, electronics and communication are open. Okay, so even EC candidates can apply, uh, you know, for the IEN vacancies also. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that is what is mentioned electronics, electronics and instrumentation, electronics and communication, telecommunication, and all this so you can go through. Okay, similarly for other streams like civil, it is of course only civil for mechanical, also there are. You know, uh, several related branches they have mentioned. Okay, so, you know, you can apply accordingly then. Okay, now, of course, as I mentioned, 65% aggregate required, but there is a relaxation for SCST PWD candidates. Uh, you know, your minimum aggregate required would be 55%. Age. Okay, so next important points, of course, they will have some medical standards. You know, of course, all PSUs will mostly have the medical uh, standards. Uh, okay, like they have be, be mentioned some of them. Now, coming to the selection process, of course, is as I mentioned, it's through the GATE 2024 score. Okay, they will be shortlisting on the basis of your GATE 2024 marks, followed by, okay, a GD and interview. Group discussion and interview will also be there. The weightage, clearly mentioned, okay, the weightage will be 75 is to 10 is to 15 in that order. Oh, sorry. Yes. So, the weightage would be, for GATE score, major weightage 75%, for GD 10%, for interview 15% of weightage is there. Okay, and the students will be called for GD and interview in the ratio of 1 is to 12. That is also they have mentioned somewhere. Okay, so uh, that means suppose electrical 60 vacancies are there. Okay, so 60 into 12, okay, 720 aspirants will be called. And trust me, guys, not everybody will be applying to a specific PSU. Okay, already some students might have got select seat into MTech, okay, into good colleges. Okay, or many, you know, would, would be looking for IOCL or, uh, you know, uh, they, some, some of the students will be preparing for HPCL, etc. So, there are a lot of opportunities. So, uh, I'll tell you, 16 to 12, 720. 
Okay, but uh, let's say even if you, if I believe even if your rank is up to nine hundred or thousand, you're going to get the call for GD and interview. Okay, so you know even I think for electrical, safe rank nine hundred thousand. Okay, similar for mechanical. Mechanical also has around sixty nine vacancy, so uh, around around thousand rank is also safe for getting the call. Rest will also depend your performance in interview and GD because twenty five percent again matters. Okay, for EC like they've mentioned five vacancies, so five plus a sixty, excluding you know some students who might be uh, into M Tech or other PSUs. So for EC, the safe rank would be under hundred one twenty to apply. So just giving you an idea, okay, uh, you know whether you should apply this or not. Okay, so of course uh, you know they require the your gate two thousand twenty four registration. Okay, you have to apply uh, a purely online basis on the website sale dot co dot in or sale careers dot com. All right. Uh, it's purely on the basis of GATE 2024 score. 2023 not applicable. The recruitment through GATE 2023 score is already conducted. That's what I was mentioning. The ratio, okay, to call upon for GD and interview will be in one is to twelve. Okay, one is to twelve. So, yes, guys. Uh, of course, you will be first having a one-year training period. Just a second. There will be a one-year training period. Okay. Uh, during that, you'll have the basic pay of fifty thousand, and then, as I told you, it's executive and recruitment. So you will be recruited at the pay scale of fifty thousand to one lakh sixty thousand. And other than that, oh, that is only the training period. Sorry. After that, uh, you'll be placed in the even grade that is sixty thousand to one lakh eighty thousand. And other than the basic pay, as you all know, guys, ultimately it's it's a PSU, it's it's a semi-government organization. So you enjoy all benefits, okay, that you expect uh, here in PSU. So again, let me mention them as well. So, what are the different PSUs that uh, different benefits that you will enjoy as expected in all of the PSUs? You'll get the DA. Okay. Other than that, you know your leave encashment, your HRA, free medical facility for you and for your dependents, and in and all, uh, the approximate CTC that the company will be bearing for you, the cost to company for you will be around sixteen to seventeen lakhs per annum. Other than that, again. It's a Maharatna PSU sale. We're having a good week, work culture. Okay, great place to work. It has been also awarded with the great place to work. And also, not only the package is fancy, but at the same time, job security always matters in PSU. So you're always, always in the very secure position working in the PSU. So okay, as compared to private, at least I would say. Okay, so very good opportunity for you know all those who have uh, you know uh, done some good uh, performance in Gate Twenty Four. As I mentioned, you have to apply online. The last date would be twenty four, twenty fifth of July. It has started just today. These are some of the important highlights. And yes, at the end, let me again show you the dates. The application has just started today. That is fifth of July, and it is live till twenty fifth of July. Okay, I have you know based on the number of vacancy, I have also given you slight hint that up to what ranks you can be getting the call for GD and interviews accordingly. Uh, if you think if you think you have a chance of getting called for GD interview, go and apply as quickly as possible. Why to delay and wait till twenty fifth of July? Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care. And also, guys, for all Gate twenty five and twenty six aspirants, keep preparing hard because even as you see, many vacancies will be announced after your exam as well. Okay, so don't just want to look what is announced right now. Okay, you give your best. Okay, because hard work never goes. Uh, to win hard work never fails okay maybe uh, m tech maybe some psc or maybe some other exams also like hpcl or the uh, state exams like genco and all you will be there somewhere okay if you have worked hard okay bye bye thank you stay safe and take care of yourself